Hey biology students, um, bad news about the paramecium, I'm really sorry. Uh, if I tried to make you guys count the contractile vacuoles on these things, I think that you would hate me until the end of the year. So we're going to have a chance to observe the paramecium and some different solutions during class tomorrow, but we are actually going to do something different so that you guys can get some data. So you should have picked up the procedure from me. If you didn't, um, there is a copy of it posted on Classroom that you can download as a Word document or PDF. And I'm going to demonstrate it right now. And what I want you to do is, as I'm kind of going through the procedure, I want you to follow along on your own copy and add in any changes or steps that you see that I'm doing where there's something that you need to remember. So you're going to write those things on your procedure as we go. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is step Okay, step one, gather some cups. You guys know how to do that. Um, step two, creating an artificial cell with dialysis tubing. So this is dialysis tubing here. There's going to be some pre-cut strips. And what I want you guys to do is you're going to take it back, and you are going to get it wet. So dialysis tubing, it's um, not super easy to work with when it's dry. So you need to get it kind of wet. And then what you're going to do is once it's wet, you're going to kind of rub it back and forth between your thumb and forefinger until um, you can get a little opening at the top. And this does take a little effort and you have to kind of like rub a little bit. And to save some time, I have done one before we started because that takes a little bit of time to get it open. Once you get it open, so let's say you've got like just a little tip open at the top, you're gonna take a pencil or it could be a pipette or a toothpick and you're going to stick it into that tip and then you're just going to kind of push it through and then kind of move it back and forth to really open up the dialysis tubing. So now it went from being a flat strip to being more like a little tube, a little bag that we can use. You're going to take a, t a piece of string and tie off one end of it. You want to tie really tight so that none of the stuff that we're putting inside, the solution that we're going to put inside, can leak out. Okay. So there's my tubing tied really tight. Now what I'm going to do in class is I'm going to give you solutions that have a known concentration of sugar. Um, there'll be some with 0% sugar, pure water, and there'll be some with 10%, 15%, and so on. Then there's going to be some unknown fluids things like lemon juice or Coca-Cola, stuff that actually contains sugar, and you guys are going to figure out what the concentration is. So right now in the procedure, that's step three, deciding what you're going to do for what, what um, solution you're going to figure out the concentration of sucrose in. Once you've chosen it, and I've got mine right here, this is my unknown solution. I don't know what the concentration of sucrose is. You measure 15 mils using one of these syringes. So I draw it up up on a Thursday until there's 15 mils inside the syringe and then you inject that into your bag. Ooh. Okay. Um, and once you've done that, you're going to take another piece of string. I'm going to kind of twist off the end here a little bit. And this is something that you're probably going to want to have two people for, because it's definitely tricky with one. But you're going to take another piece of string. Don't use your mouth. Use two people. And make this little artificial cell. So now I have a cell with my unknown liquid on the inside. I'm going to make four of these. So I'm going to have four artificial cells with 15 mils of my unknown liquid on the inside. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a solution with a known concentration. So let's say this is solution A, which has 0% sucrose. I'm going to measure 200 mils of my solution. And pour that into a beaker. And then, of course, I'm going to label it. So 
So now I have my unknown solution with a label on it. And I'm going to take the initial mass of each of my four little miniature artificial cells. I'm going to take their initial mass. So what mass of fluid is inside these right now? Then you're going to put it inside the known solution. And we're going to let 25 minutes go by so that osmosis can do its work. So you want to get these kind of all set up at the same time so that you can do all four um, in the four different solutions at once. Um, once you've done that, let's say doo -doo 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 -doo. you guys haven't seen Wayne's World, whatever. Um, once 25 minutes have passed, we are going to take our artificial cell out and see how much the mass has changed. You have done some work on osmosis, you should know why the mass has changed. Um, we're going to dry it off with a paper towel. I do not have one here. But you're going to dry it off with a paper towel, being very careful not to break it or bust it open from where you've tied it off. And then you are going to take the final mass and record your data. So we'll be able to calculate the percent change in mass. And then once we graph that, we should be able to figure out what is the concentration of sucrose in your unknown solution. Um, please email me if you have any questions, and good luck tomorrow.